Grant Horvat recently confirmed his exit from the popular Good Good Golf brand. This news is coming just a few months after Michael Morris's departure from the Golfing Channel. Is Horvat better off without the brand? What is the real reason behind Horvat's decision to leave? Join us as we discuss all you should know about Grant Horvat and his decision to leave Good Good Golf. Ever since Grant Horvat left Good Good Golf, there have been lots of rumours about his reasons for leaving. However, Horvat ruled out all these speculations by releasing a podcast where he explained his real reasons for ending his deal with the Golf Channel. In a video which Horvat titled There's Two Sides to Every Story, posted on his personal YouTube channel, the 24-year-old explained that he was leaving Good Good to do his own thing. According to Horvat, this decision was the most difficult one he had ever had to make in his life. The golf influencer was disappointed at the many narratives on social media. He debunked all of them and revealed that none of them were true. Horvat noted that there were some details that he could not make public, but he assured his fans that there was light at the end of all this and he would be working very hard on his personal channel. Horvat also added that he will be changing his location. The golf influencer plans to move back to Florida to spend more family time with his father. Horvat does deserve some accolades for prioritising his aged father. He has been a resident in Dallas, Texas since he joined Good Good. The golf influencer expressed gratitude for all the time he got to spend at Good Good Brand. He noted that those periods are an integral part of his life that he would always cherish. The 24-year-old told viewers that contrary to the belief of most people, his decision was not influenced by any external factors. He said that any other offers that he received came after he had left Good Good. He referred to his colleagues at Good Good as family and said that they will always continue to be on good terms. In a controversial statement, Horvat mentioned that there were some privileges that he never got while in the Good Good family, probably because he was the last to join in. The Good Good brand also had something to say about the situation. The famous golf channel cleared the air by posting its own video addressing the situation entitled Goodbye Grant and Micah. The other members of the Good Good gang described Horvat's departure as a huge shock and abrupt. The squad also reiterated what Horvat had previously said about leaving to do his own thing and only focus on his own channel. The Good Good gang said that Horvat and Micah were family and none of them wanted to see them go. The GM Golf, Garrett Clark, said in a video that the reason why Horvat left was to pursue his own brand and channel. Clark mentioned that the brand had even gone out of its way by bending over backwards to try and make Grant stay. Another member of the Good Good gang, Tom Broders also added that Horvat was offered everything to make him change his mind, but he was insistent on wanting to go do his own thing. Horvat's journey in Good Good started after he met with Garrett Clark in Florida, who happens to be the founder of the brand. With the influence of Clark, Grant featured in some GM golf videos and quickly became part of the group and a fan favourite. Horvat later signed with Mizuno Golf in March 2022 and presently has over 322,000 subscribers on his personal YouTube channel and 290,000 followers on Instagram. As a member of the Good Good community, Grant has always delivered some of the most intriguing content to his fans. Horvat has been compared to Tiger Woods on previous occasions due to his highly impressive skill set at the sport. He finished T29 at the Matlock Invitational and T28 at the Battle of the Shores. Horvat seems to be happy outside of Good Good Golf as he has been signing new contracts and taking up new deals, one of which is with TaylorMade. TaylorMade announced its latest equipment partnerships between the two former Good Good members, Micah Morris and Grant Horvat. No video or comment has been released by either Morris or Horvat on the partnership. TaylorMade Golf Company is an American sports equipment manufacturing company based in Carlsbad, California, United States. The company focuses on the golf equipment market, producing golf clubs, balls and clothing. Good Good Golf started out in Dallas as an initiative of five strong players. They were all college-aged kids from Kansas City. These soon-to-be six friends derived a plan to play against each other professionally on YouTube as their full-time jobs. Genuine content kept the group accessible to partnerships. Their YouTube channel recently reached over 1 million subscribers. Good Good also has 462,000 Instagram subscribers and a subreddit with over 22,000 members. A larger percent of their engaged demographic falls within 18 to 32 year olds. Each member of the group also has their own individual social channels, which are successful as well. Despite the departure of Horvat and Morris, Good Good Golf has also been busy signing a partnership deal with Callaway. From the information released by the Golf Channel, they're going to be in a partnership and collaboration which will include Callaway golf clubs with Good Good labelling. This is something new for the channel, and most people are of the view that they might have been bought over by Callaway. Recently, Good Good has announced a deal with Dick's Sporting Goods and Golf Galaxy, giving their apparel a national retail presence. 
This new arrangement will not have any negative effect on its regular video content. Instead, it will give them access to film with Callaway pros such as John Rahm, Xander Schauffel and Francesco Molinari. This arrangement is a win-win for both parties. Grant has no plans to slow down, as he is also delving into the golf sneakers business by collaborating with the Swedish sneaker brand Goat Lane. The first of three shoes in the Grant Horvat collection was released on December 26th, and it was limited to just 350 pairs. The sneaker is dressed in premium white grain calf leather and features a spikeless golf outsole. All Goat Lane golf shoes are designed in partnership with PGA Tour golfer Hendrik Norlander. The remaining two pieces of the collection are set to release in the first half of 2023. The Swedish D2C golf sneaker brand calls itself Disruptive and has made its mission to blend tour level performance with street fashion. Goat Lane intentionally describes itself this way in the hope that the modern look draws the consumer in but the professional level performance keeps them around. Although it is still a relatively new brand which started out in 2020, Goat Lane has an impressive stable of talented influencers and ambassadors, including Matt Boucher, Henrik Norlander, and Grant Horvat. The launching of Horvat's signature Goat Lane shoe is part of his efforts to begin a solo career. Most fans have expressed doubts that this partnership will yield much dividends. Will Horvat be able to stand out in the highly competitive golf sneaker market? Most people might be surprised to learn that Horvat didn't actually start out in life playing golf. While growing up, the young golf influencer played basketball until his parents relocated to the south and he switched to golf at the age of 12. His father was a PGA pro and a coach. His mother was a homemaker. Before joining Good Good, Horvat was a high-scoring golfer who played for Palm Beach Atlantic University. Horvat is a second celebrity member of Good Good to leave the golf group. Micah Morris was the first to sign off. The talented golfer also gave some personal reasons for leaving. One factor that was common between Horvat and Morris was their withholding of details. This might have been because of contractual agreement. Morris also ended his video with the statement, that's really all I can say. Although it was a very professional and gentlemanly way to go about it, this did not stop fans from speculating that something might be wrong in the brand. Good Good is a platform with lots of promise. Its members are among the most popular golf stars around the world. They have helped to create more awareness about the game of golf. Now why would anyone want to jump off such a ship? Do you think there are other reasons why Grant Horvat left Good Good? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Goodbye.